Oh, Ooh. dude, you smell like ah. Are you seriously shitting while watching me open Bionicle? Do you have any self-respect? Welcome back, gamers. I was looking on the internet, thinking what would be some sweet nostalgic stuff I could open on my channel, and I was like, oh man, Bionicle. <sighs> That stuff hit hard back in the day. I was trying to find it, basically, trying to find some original Bionicle stuff to open. Holy shit, that stuff is expensive. You're looking at 100 bucks, 80 bucks, for just one or two characters. If you wanna get a set, it's like 200-ish. Oh, not cheap. So I was thinking, man, how can I get this stuff for cheaper? And then I remembered these little videos. Oh yeah, um, China. If Lego won't sell me Bionicle, China will. <laughs> Hero Star Soldier. Okay, so I did do some digging and I realized that these are actually, I think, Hero Factory, not Technical Bionicle. It was kind of hard to tell. I don't know if you guys have bought bootleg stuff off of China, but they don't always put uh, exactly what it is in the description or everything because they want to avoid uh, copyright stuff. So for example, you try to buy a pair of Nike shoes, it won't actually have the Nike symbol on it, but everything else. And then when it comes, it'll have the Nike symbol on it. Anyway, it makes it kind of confusing. We got, I don't know how many of these, a couple, a lot actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven seems like an odd number for them to have sent me, so there's a good chance that uh, one's an extra. They do that in China because I think they think that they'll not send you enough sometimes, so they just uh, they send you a bunch. Oh, dude, no way. Look. It's got the sticker on it. I mean, maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I swear I had to put the stickers on manually, and that was like the hardest part. This looks good though, this looks really good. I'll try and figure out who this uh, this character is once, once we finish him. Good thing about these guys, as opposed to like the Brawl Stars Legos I was building, I think it's gonna be much faster and easier. Man, they tied his tubes, dude. So for those that are not familiar with Bionicle, came out in 2001, so I legitimately was raised with Bionicle. It was always something I liked because it came out a couple months after I was born. Some people would argue that it saved Lego. They're in a little bit of a financial trouble and uh, Bionicle ended up being super successful for them. It was their first time trying to uh, like start their own franchise, you know, with their own characters. They'd done like, Star Wars and stuff at that point, but never their own thing. And well, Bionicle was a big hit with the little lads like myself and uh, obviously Lego is going strong still. So uh, gotta give some credit to Bionicle. Unfortunately, they killed it at some point and brought us like Hero Factory, which I'm actually fine with, but the stuff that came after like the weird like Chima <laughs> characters and stuff that are like Bionicles, but they look messed up because they're not like supposed to be robots. Uh, there's a lot of weird ones like that. I see like Avengers ones and stuff like that at the store. Interesting fact I was reading about Bionicle the other day. Before it, Lego had been like really hesitant to do sets with like guns and stuff because they were like really anti-violent. Uh, but uh, obviously they said screw that since then. And there's a lot of guns now. <laughs> If somebody told me these were made in the same factory that the Bionicles were back in the day, I would just 100% believe them. It like feels the exact same. It does not feel any cheaper or anything. Even the weapons, like they look the same. Kind of cool, kind of like, it doesn't really look like a weapon, it just looks janky. The people in China definitely have access to all of the Lego molds because these spears, yeah man, I've seen those on a lot of sets. It even has like the Hero Factory H on it. I'm assuming that's what that is at least. No freaking way. It even has in here like the combined big ones you can build, which I'm assuming it's gonna have uh, both of the characters in this box. Wait, I think, yeah, so you can literally build the combined ones. That's crazy that they would include this, dang. This is copy and paste, except for Star Soldier. All right, and I was able to find him. He is named Stormer 2.0. That's uh, his official name. And as you can tell, even off of the Lego photo, exactly the same. So that's pretty cool. China, you bastards. And I believe I bought 10 of these for like $30. So they're about $3 a piece, which I'm pretty sure MSRP on original Bionicles back in the day were something like 15, 20. So not too shabby. Not that I'm condoning this action. I'm just simply illustrating, really. All right, we've got Green Goblin, Stormer's counterpart, I suppose. I don't know if any of these guys are like bad guys. Well, they has an H on him, so I think they, they're probably all good guys, but he does have the um, the Wraith Blades. And I'm not gonna build these on camera because that sounds hella annoying to do. So here he is. Uh, this is Breeze 
2.0. I know sometimes people like to do green as like a wind element. So that's probably what they're getting at here with the name Breeze and him being green. But it just makes me think he's like a farm or something. He's got a sweet like hacksaw up here, which I guess is nice. Some uh, little dagger pieces on him. Pretty cool gamers. Here we got Fumo, <laughs> Fumo 2.0. This is the stuff that was like all over China is uh, apparently Hero Factory 2.0 for whatever reason. That's what got leaked. And we gotta see if this guy has a, a double edition. Oh, it's looking like that is that is gonna be the case. Uh, yep, so he goes together with uh, the yellow fella to make this this bigger red and yellow fella. All right, I'll do a quick build for you guys. Okay, because you keep asking, I guess. And there we go, Fumo in the flesh. This little headgear piece is uh, kind of weird looking. Uh, it looks kind of like a pedophile maybe. A peeping Tom at the very least. For Fumo's counterpart, Evo 2.0. I'm gonna say they, they start blending together at this point. I mean, maybe that's why it's called Hero Factories because they're supposed to be like, oh yeah, these guys all came out of the same factory. I don't, I don't know, but it, they look very similar. <laughs> I know I was hating on Evo 2.0, but uh, I actually think he's probably one of my favorite. His weapon is, it's kind of winning me over. Looks like maybe like a harpoon gun or something. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. It's It's gotta be between him and fallopian tubes. All right, and now we have Surge. No, not that Surge. Surge 2.0 from Hero Factory, of course. He's blue uh, and he is probably in charge, most likely, <laughs> because it's always blue or red, am I right? <laughs> Oh, so uh, I don't know if you can see this very well on my watch, but uh, it says take out the trash at eight. Yeah, my dad invited me to that on Google Calendar, I don't know, 10 years ago. I don't live with my parents. I've been trying to get that off my freaking calendar for so long, but I, I it's, it won't let me. So every single week I have to say, no, I'm not coming. No, I'm not doing this. But Google never listens. Here he is, Surge. Uh, it was nigh impossible to get him to hold this gun at a normal angle, but I will say having a gun and not like one of these weird shield things that a lot of characters have had is, it's a nice change. They also had one of these extra uh, little lightsaber pieces. I could not figure out where that goes. And it might just be the first time we got an extra. Surge's mix character is, uh, Pumpkin man, so maybe I should make one of these at the end just so we know what they look like. No way in hell am I making all of them though. So don't even think about it. Next, 2.0, yeah, not next. His name's Next. <laughs> Here's Next, he's got pumpkin colors, so uh, good for him, I guess. I think he might be like the token nerd character because he's got like all these uh, gizmos and gadgets on his head. And no, he's just, he's just giving me that feeling. <laughs> might not be true, but uh, if that's the case for him, then Evo is probably like, the big deep voice gruff guy because he's like got big on him. I don't know. Might be reading too far into the Hero Factory 2.0 uh, character designs, but <laughs> that's what I'm feeling. Anyway, I don't know if he stays on the top three. <laughs> We've got uh, Raka. I don't really get it yet. Maybe when I open it, it'll make more sense. I can't tell if like his eyes are in his mouth or I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I bet you guys are just dying to watch me snap one together again. Okay, okay. If I was a Bionicle. No, sorry, this is a little bit more accurate. All right, here's Raka. This is like probably the worst one in my opinion. Not only is his face like so weird that he's like looking through the mouth, but like, see this is like shiny gold along with his uh, foot stuff, but then his upper body is like desert tan rather than gold, so I can't imagine that's purposeful. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. I will say this uh, translucent green arm piece is, is kind of cool, and it does say his name, Raka. I just don't love the, the lion look, I guess? Okay, this is just getting a little confusing. This is uh, Stormer 3.0, so it's, it's that guy's newer version. I don't know if these were like released in waves, like the 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. I also don't know how high they go. Is three the where they stopped or is five? I just, I don't know. 
I'll throw it up right here, I guess, so you can know. Here's the Stormer 3.0. Uh, I think I prefer 2.0. He switched out the fallopian tubes for claws or something, and then he has a full-ass body piece on his arm, which I think they thought looked badass, but it actually just looks like he has a, a body piece on his arm, so I don't think so. <laughs> here they are side by side for comparison. I mean, yes, I guess he has the rhino horn, but... I don't know, no thanks for me. Or we have Bulking 3.0. His name is Bulk. I don't know what it is about him that is, is Bulk, but uh, maybe we'll see soon. Bulk, everyone. Uh, he's got like some Assassin's Creed wrist blades, I guess. Yeah, nothing about him is Bulk. He does have like a wolf head or something. I don't know what it is with all of a sudden all of them having like animal heads or faces. Maybe they're their own faction. Don't know, but uh, he does have this translucent green piece, which what, there's been two or three Vs now they got this. I don't know, but I think he is a 3.0, so maybe that's a 3.0 edition or something. I guess he's silver to complement Rocco, I think, and that's why they both got the, the animal faces. I don't know. Well, maybe. Gaming! We're down to the wire here, two more. Uh, Stringer. Man, we have not looked at the back yet for a while. So it looks like Stringer goes with, wait, what? Have we even seen that guy yet? I don't think we have. I don't even think we have him. No, we don't. So sorry, Stringer, no buddy buddy for you. And they both have the exact same cat mask on. What the frick? Okay, Stringer, uh, yeah, I actually think this one looks pretty good. As far as the big claws go, this is one of the better looking ones. Still got the dumbass body plate on his arm though. So he could, it could have been better, but I do like the, the yellow orangish with the black. It looks, it looks pretty good. My final one for the day. Inferno 3.0. It's just so weird that they would send me like half 2.0s and half 3.0s. I, I don't remember having much say in the selection process. Guy does look like he has some sweet uh, shoulder spikes, maybe? I was looking through the character list though, and I'm freaking bummed I didn't get any of these bad guys. Drill Dozer, Jetbug. These things look way, way sicker than Waspix. Come on. That reminds me of like the older bad guys for Bionicles. I, I used to have a couple of them, like them scorpion boys. Raja, come on, come on. I need that. Thanks. These are way, way sicker than the crap I have right here. Maybe I'll have to see if, uh, if China's got these as well. And there he is, the final one, Ferno 3.0. And uh, I think these are actually maybe wings because he's got like a, a little hawk mask on. And then I think this is a bow. Cool. I was about to show you all of them lads lined up, but then I realized I left this on the ground. So I got to build this guy really quick, unfortunately. <laughs> and there he is, uh, next. Oh wait, what the, it is next. I was about to say, it's like the only one that has the same colors. It's not the same, but I guess next went cat mode. Oh wait, this is the first 3.0 we did and he had the rhino horn. Dang, I think all the 3.0s are supposed to be animal based. And I just, I just caught on a little bit late. That's, uh, that's pretty normal for me. Anyway, this scene right here would uh, probably make me shit my pants as a kid. I would have been so excited. I think at any given moment, I had maybe two assembled Bionicles and three ones that I didn't know how to put back together. So to have, uh, what do I have, 12 all put together and uh, ready to destroy smashing together would seem pretty awesome. Kind of like a childhood fantasy filled out. Anyway, gamers, that's the video. Maybe, maybe I'll buy the bad guys off of China sometime, but uh, we'll see. Uh, bye. I almost forgot to combine two to build the big chungus. So I'm gonna do that really quick and uh, then you'll see it, I guess. I can already see he has a body piece as a hand, gosh dang it. Okay, this is actually fascinating. You get to this point, he's half done. And then it says, for following assembly instructions, we're please refer to 9604, which is the other character's book. Isn't that just so weird? Not only do you need both characters to build it, but you need both books. What the heck? Yeah, it's not too bad actually, I'm surprised. The little scorpion things up here, are, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Still, uh, the arm is the hand is, is a, it's a little interesting, not gonna lie. As a kid, I would have freaking pogged for this.